in this easy ed video lecture we will learn about inductors wherein we will see the introduction working principle of an inductor inductance emf induced in an inductor as self induced emf and mutually induced emf concept of a back emf and types of inductors such as a coupled inductor multi layer inductor ceramic core inductor and a molded inductor let's start with the introduction similar to a resistor or a capacitor an inductor is also a passive component when a metal wire is wound in a circular manner we get an inductor the symbol of an inductor is as shown it is represented by a capital l and its unit is henry but practically henry becomes a very large unit we generally use smaller units like milli henry or micro henry which are 1000th and 1 millionth part of a henry respectively seriously pay attention this is important the material on which the coils are wrapped is called as a core of an inductor when the coil is wound on a metal we get an iron core inductor and when there is no material and just circular windings we get an air core inductor let's study the working principle of an inductor now consider a circuit shown according to the magnetic effect of an electric current when a current passes through a coil or a conductor it produces the magnetic field around that conductor this forms the basic principle of an inductor the magnetic field generates the flux around the conductor this flux changes as the current flowing through an inductor changes according to faraday's law emf gets induced in a conductor whenever a flux linked with that conductor changes this emf is of two types such as self induced emf and mutually induced emf let's first study self induced emf the emf induced in a coil due to the change of its own flux linked with it is called as self induced emf consider a coil having n turns carries the current i with the switch s when the switch s is closed as the current flows through the coil it will produce the flux in the coil this flux links with the coil itself as the magnitude of the current changes using a variable resistor the flux produced also changes according to faraday's law due to the rate of change of the flux linkages an emf gets induced in the coil as the emf gets induced without any physical motion of the coil or flux the induced emf is called as a self induced emf the property of a coil which opposes any change in the current passing through it is called as self inductance or only inductance the coefficient of self inductance is given by l the second type of emf is mutually induced emf if the flux produced by one coil is linked with the second coil and if the change in the flux produced by the first coil induces the emf in the second coil then such an emf is called as a mutually induced emf consider the two coils a and b having n1 and n2 number of turns respectively current i1 flowing through the coil a produces the flux phi1 some part of the flux gets linked with coil b which b call as mutual flux phi2 now if we change the magnitude of the current flowing through the coil a by variable resistance the linked fluxes phi1 and phi2 also change according to faraday's law change in the flux induces the emf in the coil thus any change in current i1 induces the emf in coil b this phenomenon is called as mutually induced emf let's find the voltage induced in an inductor if a coil of n turns links the magnetic flux phi then the coil has a flux linkage of n phi and any current i that flows through the coil will produce an induced emf then according to faraday's law 
any change in this magnetic flux linkage produces a self-induced voltage in the single coil as Vl equal to n into d phi by dt equal to mu n square a upon l into di by dt. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's see the concept of a back EMF now. An inductor is a component that opposes the change in the current flowing through it. Hence, whenever the current flowing through an inductor changes, the inductor develops an EMF which opposes this current. Amplitude of this EMF is exactly equal and opposite of VL. This is known as a back EMF. Now let's study why an inductor passes a DC signal and blocks an AC signal. Every component possesses some resistance. The resistance offered by an inductor is called an inductive reactance and is denoted by XL. It is given by the formula XL equals 2 pi FL where F is the frequency. The frequency of the DC signal is 0. Thus XL becomes 0 and the inductor offers very low resistance to DC. But the frequency of an AC signal is non-zero always. Thus an inductor opposes the AC signal and passes the DC signal only. The next concept is types of inductors. An inductor is mainly divided into four different types such as coupled inductor, multilayer inductor, ceramic core inductor and a molded inductor. First type of inductor is coupled inductor. Coupled inductors exhibit magnetic flux that is dependent on other conductors to which they are linked. When mutual inductance is needed, coupled inductors are often used. A transformer is a kind of a coupled inductor. Second type of inductor is a multilayer inductor. These inductors consist of a layered coil bound multiple times around the core. As a result of the multiple layers and the insulation between them, multilayer inductors have a high inductance level. The third type of an inductor is a ceramic core inductor. Although there are numerous kinds of cores, a ceramic core inductor is unique in having a dielectric ceramic core, meaning it has a very low distortion and hysteresis. Last type of inductors are molded inductors. These inductors are molded using a plastic or ceramic insulation. They are often used in circuit boards. Let's take a quick review of what we've studied in this lecture. When a metal wire is wound in a circular manner, we obtain an inductor. The symbol of an inductor is as shown. It is represented by the letter L and its unit is Henry. When a current passes through a coil or a conductor, it produces the magnetic field around that conductor. This forms the basic principle of an inductor. EMF induced in an inductor is of two types, such as a self-induced EMF and a mutually induced EMF. Voltage induced in an inductor is given by VL. Back EMF is an equal but opposite magnitude of VL. An inductor is a component that passes the DC signal and blocks the AC signal. Different types of inductors are coupled inductor, multilayer inductor, ceramic core inductor, molded inductor.